Yeah. Esther's back. Have you been here? You've not been here. Feeling skinny. <laughs> My bag doesn't fit. <laughs> oh Christ. I'm glad I'm not really fat. <laughs> so having Esther back was a real real treat um, getting her back in front of the camera awesome and uh, so we thought we'd start off with Rye for the first shoot um, she was back for a month uh, we managed to do three while she was here so two more videos to come um, so we went up at the church tower um, cost four pounds to go up and uh, we had a good look up there you have to go through this really skinny little passage and then up some steps and sort of ladders and things um, but when you're up there the views are amazing um, just a bit of history as well and I thought while she's back as we're doing shoots I'll try and take her somewhere a bit different maybe she hasn't seen and um, you know gives her another memory and of visiting and everything like that so um, anyway so yeah we started off um, up on the church tower there and uh, did a few shots up here it's a little bit limited because obviously the space is very tight um, and people are coming and going all the time so it was a little bit um, a little bit tight on space but the views absolutely worth it as you can see there and we were so lucky on the weather it was absolutely amazing so yeah we just uh, did a few shots up there and then uh, moved back downstairs but uh, you'll see the shots in a second that's one of the castles uh, there down there and uh, you can just see right across the English countryside uh, right across to the sea and in fact you can see France in the distance occasionally uh, when it's a really clear day so here's a few of the shots these are actually taken with the 24 to 105 G lens uh, on the a7r3 works really really nicely as an everyday great really sharp lens um so yeah start off with that through the small passageway for the non-fat people i wonder if anybody got stuck up here before So as you walk back down the steps and through the thing you can actually look down into the church uh, you're pretty high up but really cool view um, just this sort of hidden passageway that I suppose was used for hundreds and hundreds of years uh, when we got outside we went around the corner and you can actually see here just a park bench with the light on it was really nice so we just did a couple of shots here and then moved on we were trying to do as many sort of uh, mini locations as possible otherwise you end up if you shoot in one place it becomes very stale very quickly uh, we had two hours to do the shoot so as Esther got changed, I uh, sat there and watched this gentleman who's doing a little bit of singing. Um, she changed, and then obviously we moved locations again. So uh, off we went and uh, found some lovely sort of floral backgrounds with some houses. I think so. I should go up to the actually up to the wall. As you can see, the day was absolutely stunning. Esther looks stunning. Um, so, great combination. I don't shoot in towns very often. I generally try and get out of the way of everyone, but um, this worked out really, really nicely. Um, found some lovely spots, even this one here. This house had a, a yellow wall in the background, which was amazing. Um, so, that worked really, really nicely. We um, basically just kept moving around. Rye is a brilliant place to go and shoot. There's lots and lots of little hidden little streets and things like that you can use. The cobbled streets and everything just look awesome. As you can hear there, the resident seagulls making plenty of noise. Um, obviously, we are in the public eye, so basically we have to wait for people to come past and um, you know just uh, let them go past and do their own things. Obviously, you know it's their their place as much as it is ours. Um, people are very polite, though. Um, you'll see in a couple of seconds somebody waited for us. 
um, just to take the shot, which is really not pleasant. A lot of people are completely unaware and they just literally walk in front of you and things like that. So, you know, it does make a, it's very nice when people are very polite and obviously I'm not expecting them. If they walked in front, I'm not going to get mad. Um, but as you can see, these photos turned out really, really well. Um, as you can see, 135 G Master, F1.8, straight out of the camera, absolutely lovely. The bokeh in the background, super smooth. Um, it looks really, really cool. Um, just the way her hair and everything's over one eye, I think that works really nicely. And this shot here is just as just as lovely. Um, just a bit more relaxed uh, sort of look, um, which worked really well as well. And it's even though you've got people in the background, they don't become that apparent even because obviously you've got such a shallow depth of field. So it worked really, really well. And then it was on to the next location, which is about 20 or 30 metres down the road. Fed up look. So having obviously a very short amount of time, we literally didn't have really time for any lighting as such. Um, you know, I didn't have an assistant with me or anything like that. So um, basically, just made do. Um, the light was amazing anyway. Beautiful blue skies. No, not even a cloud in the sky really. Um, but like I say with public eyes, there's plenty of people wandering around all the time, just sort of, you know, doing their own thing as well. So we just made the most of the time we had and uh, carried on shooting. So just these shots are really, really cool. Um, it just shows you how how sort of photogenic an old place can be. You know, the, the old buildings. The old cobbled streets is not the same as the every everyday um, roads and pavements and things like that we're used to in the uh, the sort of modern towns and stuff so it worked really nicely um, to make the most of this place you really need to get here really early in the morning when there's no one else around um, but we were really really quite lucky that it wasn't too busy where we were it was more it was more busy where the shops were so um, we made the most of that anyway so sitting down there on the step yeah yeah you can do Huh? Sorry? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Or that one? What do you reckon? Or in between the posts? Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Actually, up by the black door looks good. Oh, sorry. Take your picture. You sure? Sure. Thank you. Take a picture. You take a picture. As you can see there, one gentleman there let me uh, take the shot, but obviously because I'm using the 135, I'm actually miles away. Um, a lot of people didn't even realise it was there. Uh, Esther was just sat on the sat on the steps, and uh, people just cruising past. Um, no one really noticed the GoPro just sat there on the uh, on the sort of uh, gate post either, which was uh, quite funny. Just shows you how how oblivious people are, just sort of looking around, enjoying the their lives and everything, and uh, you don't always see everything. So that you know it worked really well. Um, got some really nice shots, and. Uh, you know, we just—it was a perfect day, really. We couldn't have asked for better weather, and I can guarantee you that. Uh, it wasn't overly hot either, so it wasn't too bad. Um, especially when, if anybody works with um, having a backpack on their um, on their back with the camera gear on it, because you don't generally like leaving it on the ground, especially uh, with quite a lot of money's worth of stuff inside the bag. Anybody could just grab and leg it. Um, but as you can see here, the reflections on that door is a really, really glossy black um, door. And uh, that's the reason I sort of picked it out because it just looked really good. Um, shoot back up the street over the hedge, so you've got a little bit of hedge out of focus in the low lower section of the image there, and it has to just looking at the, uh, the the camera there. So say hello. <laughs> no, it's working. Just about to get sorry. Yeah, what? Just about to what? Put your sunglasses. Just about to yeah. Look, the pigeon. Yeah, go, in, go into the middle there. 
as you see there um, we were really quite lucky it wasn't too busy on this bit of street for too long um, obviously you can see previously in the, the video a few seconds before that actually there's plenty of people taking photos and stuff so but these are these photos really turned out nicely we were utilizing the the shade actually rather than the being in the sunshine uh, in these shots um, just because it stopped one stopped Esther uh, squinting and two the light was just a little bit softer um, and it just worked out really really nicely and the colors and everything just really really nice so worked out really really pleased with this photo in particular I really like it um, so yeah then obviously we just uh, carried on walking back up the hill um, and there's a little building we found to the right that was disused no entry no turning no parking bollocks it's quite a I think just sitting on one of those walls with all the old garages because you're so bright and yeah. looks really cool. So this bit here was some garages but also some kind of old, um, looks like some kind of church or meeting hall or something like that, I'm not really sure. It's not in use anyway. So um, it said no entry but there's none around so, and we weren't damaging anything, we were literally taking photos so it's not like we were graf putting graffiti or breaking windows or anything like that. So a few of the shots here that you can see, um, it's worth pausing because I've trying to keep the video a little bit shorter than I can but works really nicely just a bit of rough and ready kind of feel um, and obviously Esther looking stunning as she does uh, as we walked back round the, the outside of the town we found a couple of bits and pieces there um, and uh, made the most of that as well which was nice um, just this railing just shows you can use anything so a fence with you know some fishing bits and pieces under you know nets and things like that behind it and just the park and everything there which worked really nicely as well um, and uh, as we went up the road we found a uh, sort of wheat field there and made the most of that as well so hey guys any questions please ask um, obviously the uh, Sony a7R 3 was used the 24-105 uh, G lens and the 135 uh, G master was used as well uh, here's a little clip with Esther just waving out the window as we headed back and uh, it was a really really good day um, I hope she enjoyed it as much as I did, it was really really nice and it was great to see her obviously. Um, so don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell and I shall see you soon for another video.